Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm Barney the Dinosaur. What does your child like most about Barney and Friends? The songs? The children? Using their imaginations? Me? Oh, shucks. <laughs> Please let the nice people at Channel 13 know right now how you feel about Barney and Friends. Thank you, and I love you. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm Barney the Dinosaur. What does your child like most about Barney and Friends? Using imagination? The songs? The children? Me? Oh, shucks. <laughs> I hope your child loves Barney and Friends for all those reasons and more. We put lots of love and care into each and every program. Please let the nice people at your local PBS station know right now how you feel about Barney and Friends. I thank you, and I love you. <laughs> London Zoo echoed with it this morning as selected and celebrity children sang Barney's praise. Parents, adults quite quickly get sick of the purple monster but kids love him to bits and it would bring this over for the kids and as I say so the parents can be happy that the kids are watching something they learn from doesn't frighten them and is entertaining Barney's the best says his American fans Barney's a beast says he's a growing American backlash either way he's over here to help do for GMTV what no British human has so far been able Penny Marshall ITN London Zoo Oversized, overhyped, and over here. Barney the dinosaur has been brought in to woo the children back to GMTV in the battle for breakfast time viewers. The PR buzzword is edutainment. They're on a definite up with their ratings, but at the same time they need um, even more work to counter the huge appeal amongst children of Big Breakfast. And with Barney, they've got a um, very good track record. Barney's done so well in the States. He is a huge phenomenon in the States that um, I think they reckon they're on to a good thing. So much was at stake at this morning's stage-managed launch. GMTV lost money last year, and it's lost viewers to Channel 4's Big Breakfast, too. Tell the lady. No. Go on. Go on, say you think he's lovely, don't you? Go on, don't go shy. Say, we love Barney. Oh, well, we do anyway. <laughs> no, he's wonderful. They're going to break my arms from the Barney Mafia. Fabulous character. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, don't you just love a pretty view of a city like this? <laughs> what a lovely city Sydney is. It's so good to be here in Australia. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I'm actually here. Oh, goodness. Oh, everybody here has just been so friendly. Oh, oh the sun and the sand and the surf. Oh, it's so pretty. What to do? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is terrific. Is everybody having a good time? I guess so. Oh, oh hi there. How are you, Mr. Koala? Oh, it's so nice of you to let us come visit you. <laughs> I've had so much fun in your country. <laughs> oh, this is really great. Hi there. Oh, it's so nice to meet all my friends. <laughs> Bye. -bye. See you soon. Bye, Bye, <laughs> Oh, look at all the sheep. Oh, my. Oh, goodness. Oh, what a view. Oh, what a beautiful day. Here we go. Oh, flock of sheep. Oh, my. Oh, this is terrific. Another perfect day in New Zealand. And hello there. Here we go. Okay. Let's go play! Here we go! Whoa! Oh, 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 yay! Now, Barney the dinosaur has travelled a very, very long, long way to be here today. He has gone all around the world just to come and meet all you guys today. <laughs>
Barney demonstrates that empathy and hope when he invites children from Make-A-Wish to see his shows. And sold-out concerts at Radio City Music Hall enabled homeless children in the South Bronx to attend a special summer school program. And recently, twin girls facing separation surgery watched Barney constantly throughout their three-month hospital stay. To these girls, the message that everyone is special had a very personal meaning. Wherever Barney goes, he has time to visit sick children who need a special friend. For a lot of these children, Barney's visit is the highlight of their lives. And Barney is able to do for them a lot of things that we as physicians cannot do. Barney brings to them a message of uh, love and of hope. And this is what a lot of these kids need. Their day-to-day -day functioning in the hospital for them is often very uh, grim. And the realities are very, very difficult. But Barney's message is a message of love and it's a message of hope. The idea that they can use their imagination to realize that tomorrow can be better than today. You know, a lot of things in a hospital are painful. We can't help it. There a lot, most children don't want to come to the hospital. And so it's very important that we try and do things to create pleasant experiences. And I think right now there's nothing more exciting for some of these children than to see one of their characters from television come alive and come to visit them. It really makes them feel special. Barney's visits touch a child's life in a sense that makes them feel so important. I was important enough for Barney to come see. And if you're impacting a child in that way, that makes a lasting impression. <laughs>